Ladies and gents, from my friends at Carl Martin over in Denmark, you heard this thing on all the guitar parts on that track at the beginning of the video. It is the Ampster, and in their words, this is a tube guitar amp speaker sim DI. So this is meant to actually replace the guitar amplifier and speaker or speaker cabinet in your rig. Obviously made to go on a pedal board and be sort of a pedal board based solution to getting a great amp sound straight out to a recording interface or PA system without needing an amplifier and speaker cabinet and microphone and all that stuff. Now, as I say, there's a tube in there, tube based, and it's fully analog. There's no digital stuff going on. So there's a built-in cabinet simulator with a few different uh, settings that you can switch up via this switch right here to get some different cabinet sounds, but it's all analog. And it really couldn't be easier to use. Essentially, you've got an input for your guitar, and then you've got XLR or quarter inch outs to send out to a PA or recording interface. I was using the XLR output for everything in this video, just sending that straight into my UA interface. The cabinet simulation is actually defeatable. So you can, if you want to use impulse responses with it or some other cabinet simulation, uh, if, if you so desire, or you could even defeat the cab sim and send the signal out to a power amp and a speaker cabinet and, and have a kind of like a traditional guitar cabinet if you want to. There's an effects loop built in so you can integrate uh, effects into the sound sort of post gain on this. Most players will probably run effects in front and the reason that I say that is because it's a fairly low gain affair yes you can get a little bit of distortion and grind out of that and I'll show that in a little bit but really the tone is quite reminiscent of like a Fender style circuit maybe a Fender twin is kind of what I'm hearing out of it I think they wanted to make it basically like a common backline clean amp pedal platform kind of sound that you would hook your pedals into and and run into it and get your tone so the controls you've got a gain treble middle bass presence and master couldn't be simpler and then a foot switch here to turn on and off the cab sim and a foot switch to mute so i'm going to play a little bit more through it i'm going to solo some of those parts outside of the mix uh, i'll show you how i use some various pedals to run into it i did use a few pedals in the video because that's kind of what they want you to do i think use this as your clean pedal platform once again and then add your distortions overdrives maybe some compression and some time-based effects so here we go, it's the Amster from Carl Martin. So I just got my first guitar part on the song at the beginning of the video, and this is literally like the first thing that I played through the Amster when I plugged it in and dialed up a sound. And um, it's just cowboy chords, it's like the simplest guitar part in the world, but it just sounded so good, even like with like basic first position cowboy chords, because the tone of the thing is just like a great, big, fat, full, clean guitar amp. I mean, you can get it to break up, and I'm gonna show you that, but it's sort of more about its big, full, clean character that then you can augment with effects, with pedals and things like that. So I wanted to play something that represented that full, clean sound with almost no effect going on. I do have my compressor pedal on. It's just, you know, lending a bit of, you know, pumped up thing to the sound, just a little bit, and kind of evening things out as I'm strumming these big cowboy chords. I'm just using the middle single coil on my guitar. It just sounds so cool. I wanted to show you a couple of the features on the unit before I move on and get any further into this track. There's a switch on the back here that lets you kind of switch up the voicing of the cabinet sound. And I've got it set all the way to the left right now, which sounds sort of the clearest to me. I'll play you a couple others. Okay, so there's two other positions on the switch, and one of them is really quite a bit fuller, and the other one seems just a little bit fuller to me. But it's just like variations on, you know, analog cabinet voicing emulation, basically. So if I crank the gain up, um, there might be a little distortion actually if I hit my bridge pickup, but then I'll turn the gain up and see how much more we can get out of the unit. <laughs> Okay, so that's kind of maximum grind, which is cool. It's like, it sounds like a twin or something. That's the character it reminds me of, a, an open back powerful combo with like two 12s. And then you can kind of augment with drives from there on out. So I happen to have my pedal board sitting right beside me here. So let's just turn on a drive or two. That's cool. That's the um, 
steel string singer side of my uh, unobtainium from Crazy Tube Circuits, which is kind of a, you know, a dumbly kind of pedal. So that sounds good. Here's the Klon side. So you can hear that the speaker simulation has kind of, to me, uh, a warm character to it. It's not exactly like Celestian Greenback or anything like that. It's got a very kind of warm Jensen-y kind of breakup to it, to me. That's a fuzz. That's my uh, Crazy Tube Circuit Starlight fuzz. And much like I would dial a Fender amp, I've actually got the bass back on about three and the treble up more like on around seven, something like that right now. So I did one little part where I added a bunch of effects, and I started out with a similar sound to the kind of main guitar part in the song, but I used my Dano here in the middle position. I love this little guitar. That's that clean sound, just with a little compression if I turn off the compressor. You know, it's not really doing that much. It's just evening things out. Adding a bit of spring reverb. And this is all going into the front of the Amster like you would plug into an amplifier. Really nice spring reverb via the H90. Now I'm gonna turn on a little bit of echo. Just a little analog delay. A bit of vibrato then. So it responds really beautifully to just plugging pedals right into the front. It's a great clean pedal platform. I just cut the first kind of little lead melody part. And um, once again, I'm stacking some pedals. I've got on my compressor, the Klon side of the Unobtainium from Crazy Tube Circuits with some gain on the pedal. I've got the gain up around three o'clock. So I'm getting a little bit of drive. And then I've also got a little spring reverb and a little delay. I'm just having fun just stacking pedals. And it sounds a lot to me like a, like a deluxe reverb or something with some pedals in front. <laughs> I should mention that Johnny Marr is using this in his rig uh, for doing fly dates and stuff. I believe he's got it on a pedal board with maybe uh, a Boss GT1000, I think, to do effects. And then this is kind of his core clean amp sound. I love Johnny Marr, so I think that's worth mentioning. Thanks for watching my video on the Carl Martin Amster Tube Guitar Amp Speaker Sim DI. This is an all-in-one solution that allows you to eliminate the amplifier and speaker cabinet and microphone from your chain and still get a great mic'd up guitar amp sound. It's all analog for those purists out there that don't like digital stuff like IRs and, and uh, modelers. 
And there's even a tube in there for those of you that are super duper purists. You can check it out further, that link down there in the video description below. Click there, it'll take you to more info about the Ampster. Please hit subscribe if you haven't hit the little bell beside the subscribe, you'll get an alert when I put out new videos. Thanks for watching. I am Pete Thorne. Take care, you guys.